starting with Karen. So you say, how very sad to see him go, a truly decent man. Karen, that's incredibly kind of you and appreciated. Next, uh, Bob Ludgate. Enjoy your retirement, Norman, so it starts well. Uh, never could understand why you and your party climbed into bed with the Conservative Party and caused the crisis in the NHS, etc. I think in politics you uh, often have very difficult judgment calls to make. We had a difficult call to make in 2010. I believed at the time and I still believe that it was absolutely in the national interest to provide stability for five years. And I'm actually very proud also of the work that I did as Minister responsible for mental health. Michael Halpin, a true gentleman and a politician with principles who cares? Well, uh, thank you, Michael. Um, uh, I don't really know what to say about that. It's just very kind of you to make those generous comments. Paulie Warner, so like all Lib Dems, he hasn't got the stamina or what it takes. You've always, you'll always be remembered as the Tory austerity enabling party. Well, thank you, Paulie, for that very generous uh, comment. Uh, I actually think I have got quite a lot of stamina. I uh, have been at this for 29 years. Uh, I spent 11 years trying to win my seat from the Tories. I'm proud of the fact that I defeated the Tories in North Norfolk. As I say, I'm proud of what we did in the coalition government and that we actually stopped an awful lot of what the Tories would have done without us. Let's look at that coalition government and compare it with what we've got now and I know which one I would prefer. So next we've got Frank Baldry, a good man in the wrong party. Leaving to promote better care for mental illness is wonderful. I wish him every success. Well, thank you, Frank. That's exactly what I'm doing. I feel I can be more effective outside Parliament than in it. So Matthew Clark, great local MP, but failed to carry out what he was instructed to do by his local electorate. Well, I guess he's, uh, you're referring, Matthew, to Brexit. Uh, the slight frustration is that I've been clear that uh, we should uh, agree a deal with the EU in order to leave the EU. I happen to believe that we should leave, but with the closest economic relationship. Sylvie Waller, Sir Norman, thank you most sincerely for your dedication and hard work. Uh, for this county and our country. I love you, Sylvie. Thank you very much. Uh, Alexander Jackson uh, got out before he lost his seat is the reality of his resignation. Well, the funny thing, Alexander, is that I've been told many, many times that uh, I would lose my seat. I was told that I would lose it before 2017 because this was a leave seat. Well, I won in 2017. Uh, standard fare next, whoever you are. He worked hard, but the spineless and toothless, literally undemocratic party have failed to show any sign of having any principles at all. Well, um, I'm not quite sure how to respond to that. I understand the passion about staying in the EU, but um, I voted along with the party for the referendum to be held uh, and I have difficulty with uh, simply voting, fighting to stop what we voted, what the country voted for in 2016. Uh, and then uh, Hannah Harmon, uh, this man should be Prime Minister, one of the best MPs uh, we have and he's actually productive and moral. That's incredibly kind, thank you. And that's rather a nice uh, way to end uh, on a positive uh, and it's appreciated. Thank you very much indeed.